Hello, this is Yorick. Today I am going to move my mainnet validator from a Contabo VPS over to Blocks, now that Blocks has import. I have not done this before, so I'm going to do this live. What can go wrong, right? Um, I have a checklist to follow. This will be similar to the previous move where I moved from home to a VPS. Alright, so what's new is that uh, Blocks has import um, it's using the seed for that, so I'm going to remove the seed when I'm done. And uh, let's get started. I already had blocks running on Permanent Testnet, so I asked them to reset my account with them. And then I went in here and I terminated the instances of the key vault I had running, and then cleaned up the Elastic IPs and the security groups. So I'm as clean as it can be. So when I look at my checklist, are you positive you need to move? Um, in this case, yes, I want to, because I'm fed up with Contabo. And I need to bring down my old client, um, make sure it cannot come back up, and it should be done for like 10 minutes, so it can't do all the tests. So here's my uh, little ticky tomato meter again. It's probably going to take longer than 10 minutes, but let's just have it ticking away here and make sure I'm good. All right, let's go grab where I am. This is up and running, so I'm going to do a Docker Compose down. And in your environment, right, whatever that is, if you're running through system CTL, shut it down that way. Now, when that's done, I will need to remove the validator key from here. I will also require the key store um, M file. Actually, so sorry, no, I will require the seed in this particular case because Blocks doesn't do keystore M import yet. Yet. Okay, let's take a look. So this is done, and I'm going to do a quick Docker volume ls, and here it is. This is my validator data, so that needs to go. Docker volume remove F2 Lighthouse validator data. All right, and now I'm going to spin this back up just to make sure that it really cannot come back up. Right? I, I already know it can't, but I'm, I'm verifying. So docker compose logs f validator. And it should tell me it is down right here. Yep, no enabled validators. Create validators via the API or the Lighthouse account command. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm going to shut this down again. I am not ready to import, but I can have blocks take its first steps. So key vault set up here. This is the Blocks Live app. And it's going to be on AWS. And it wants my access key ID. So I'm going to be right back once I've done that. And it is now creating the key vault on AWS. That's going to take a minute. So I'm going to skip this part as well. And that's done. I can see now that I have my block staking instance here um, just created. There's a security group for it right here, blocks infra group, and it has an elastic IP. There it goes. Okay. In the meantime, I can see I missed an attestation on my validator, so it is safe now to do imports. Um, although I will do another check just to be sure. And let's take a look at where we are. Create a validator. Import seed mainnet only. Right? This one is currently not tested for um, per month. So I am going to uh, pause here again while I input my seed, and then we'll see how it behaves. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, um, verify once more that all your validators have been down long enough to miss an attestation. Verify once more that trying to start the validator has it complaining it can't find keys. So um, although I did just test this, I will test this again uh, just in case I made a mistake, right? which happens. People make mistakes. So 
So this is my old client running. And I'll make sure that when I look at the logs of the validator, it tells me it cannot even. And that's exactly right. Enable zero, new validator zero, create validators via the API. I already knew that. And there's my 10 minutes. <laughs> so it has been long enough. And now that I've double checked, let me go pause this and put my uh, seed in. Okay, so that worked, however, only with full words. It turns out that the four letter abbreviations for the seed are not currently supported by this version of blocks as of mid February 2021. Um, ask me how many validators I'd like to import. I'm going to do this here in a second, just, just one more time. Um, what I will do is bring down the old client, verify that it's down, right? Right here, I'm missing attestations. Like, let's verify that one more time. I'm missing attestations. And uh, I've verified that it cannot, under any circumstances, come back up. I've imported, in this case, the seed, not the keys, into the new client. And I am ready to use it. So in order to avoid slashing, make sure to stop attesting with different providers. Cannot be stated strongly enough. This is the only reason we've seen slashings on mainnet so far. Okay, one validator to import. Let's go for it. I'm aware that I need to be offline, right? Read this. <laughs> and I agree to the license and service agreement. All right, there we go. And that should be the validator I'm actually looking at let's verify that 0x89 and so on 472da that's right that's exactly it okay continue okay it's now gonna import this validator and it's gonna start signing attestations for it from an AWS instance which then backends to the block staking um, environment and uh, there we are all systems operational. That is all there is to moving a validator from your own environment into blocks. Thank you.